I'm, I'm not dead yet. Okay, you know me, you know what I do. So let's get this started. This is part one of what Deku was raised by Craven as well as trained. In which we open up to a sleeping Zuku. Craven the Hunter. And you are? Uh, uh, I'm Izuku. Izuku Midoriya. Well, pleasure to meet you. <sighs> Either way, uh, are you feeling alright? What, what do you mean? Well, I found you impaled by a tree branch. Wait, what? As Izuku, he lifts up the covers and sees, yeah, there's a, there's a hole through his chest. And, yeah, he starts freaking out. Craven having to pretty much smack some sense in him. So, no, boy, uh, there's no need to panic. You're safe now, right? But, how am I still alive? I would like to ask you the same question. Do you have one of these quirks? Uh, n n no. Actually, I was diagnosed quirkless. <sighs> then you are very lucky. That would normally kill a well, normal person. Hmm. Do you? The way you live. Maybe I can... No, I, I can't. But it's the craziest thing. How, how did I end up getting impaled? Mm. Sadly, I don't know that. I just follow the smell of your blood. And... <laughs> found you like that. In the way, see you later, Yankee Suku. Wait, where are you going? Uh, hunting. Uh, wait, where are we exactly? Oh, these are one of my favorite private game reserves, which also surprised me to find another person here. I personally gathered a mess of animals in order to hunt them here. So you're a big game hunter? In a matter of speaking, yes. Except on like the filthy that you like just to kill animals, I hunt them not only for sport but for nourishment as well. Uh, you can use the, their corpses as clothing, furniture, all the like. The bones make very good backup knives. <coughs> Wait, so that lion right around your shoulders oh, oh is real lion. Uh, I was very proud of myself when I finally took down this beast. So, I'll be back within 10 minutes. You should rest while you can. As yeah, Suzuku, he is reluctant to listen to this guy, but on the other hand, does he have much of a choice? Hell, he doesn't know where he is, and yeah, this guy seems trustworthy. So, he does. And ten minutes go by, he sees that, yes, Craven has brought back a alligator. And this alligator is missing a few teeth. Is it wondering, what did you do? I hunted it. I won. 
in the story. Is it, uh, huh? What's your quirk? Quirk? Oh, uh, no, no. You see, I don't have quirk. I trend and got uh, my hands on a special chemical that gave me enhanced strength as well as several other. <laughs> advantages. So it, it's not a quirk. Yet it's it's not. Uh, oh, but huh? How strong are you? Strong enough. <laughs> None of these beasts can handle me. It's quite easy to read it. <sighs> Sometimes I have to actually use weapons to make it even. A bit more challenging for myself. Anyone can shoot the gun, but to aim it and not miss is another story. People train for years to make sure that their shot always gets the target. As have I. So you you don't miss? I. I may miss from time to time, only if I'm not completely focused, but besides that, no, I, I would really miss, if at all. Zuku, he's getting more and more interested in this, wondering, wait, so you're a hunter, why don't you become a hero? Seems like you'd be a good fit for it. Uh, I'm not so sure about that, young Izuku. You see, uh, heroes, that, that life is not for me. I'd rather just keep doing what I love, and that's pretty much it. What about you? What would you like to do when you grow older? I... I I wanted to be a hero, but but I can't be a hero without a quirk. Who told you this? The quirk doctor. Not to mention my dad, as he is an ex. <coughs> what, what is this? It's nothing. I, I just got felt a sharp pain in my head. Mm. Yes. <sighs> well, I'm gonna the rest a little bit, and uh, we'll talk later about this. You not being able to become a hero later. Zuku's like, what's he mean by that? The screen does take a little cat nap. Waking up, he sees Zuku walking around a little bit, trying to get his bearings. Him stumbling from time to time, because, yeah. Considering what I had happened to him, <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of fucked up, but still. Graven. Huh. Boy, he seems to have uh, bounced back relatively quickly. Hmm. Maybe. Just maybe. Yes. Izuku. Y yes? Hmm. So, tell me about this. Uh, you wanted to be a hero. Him giving him a whole explanation about how he admires all my, how he wants to be like all my, if not better, wants to be number one hero, someone that people can depend on, all that good shit. Yeah. Mm. And you believe that you need the quirk to achieve this? Yes? Mm. Wrong. All you need to do is be very lucky, train yourself, work. As much as you can, since you are 
Quirkless. That already has you at the disadvantage. You see, boy, uh, with these quirks, these quirk people don't need nearly as much equipment as someone like you and I. But what do you mean? You see, I don't just use my boost strength, I use weapons. Bow and arrows, crossbows, guns, spears, swords even. I can't always just go into a hunt barehanded. Though I could. Uh, because the hunting gets killed or be killed out there. Because of the heroes. They could definitely die. No question. One difference with hunting is you're allowed to finish off your opponent out of respect uh, really? yes think of it as like a battle of good and evil hunting do you know which is the good side? Um, the hunter? no the prey? no you see, there is no real good or evil when it comes to hunting. Only the victim or the victor. Uh, so, it all depends on who deals a killing blow first. Correct. Yeah, you could say we are each the hero of our own story. Sometimes to do some good you need to be a little bad and vice versa from time to time. Like some heroes may he do something that others may not like, but they had no choice but to do it. Villains can choose whether to spare a hero or kill them. It all depends on what you decide to do on that precise moment. It's up to you to decide if you're doing the right thing for you as well as whoever you are fighting for. Is he's, a, he's feeling inspired right now. He's like, wait, can you teach me? What? To be a hunter. I thought you wanted to be hero. I, I do, but, but from your standpoint and your overall build and physique, it makes me feel like uh, hunting would be a great training before I'd become a hero. So you do believe you could become a hero? Yes. Yeah. That's only if you're willing. Hmm. Tell you what, child. I will give you a chance. If you impress me, I may be able to help you with your problem. First, you must train your body. As well as learning more about being a hunter. Uh, really? So, is that a yes? Of course. <sighs> but, I will say this. It's not easy. Not for the faith of heart. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I am. Good. Then we start tomorrow morning. Get sleep while you can. It's going to be, as you could say, utter hell. As Zuku, he goes to sleep, hella excited, <laughs> yet also fearful, considering the. So this could be utter hell for me. 
a somewhat exciting but also unnerving. As soon as it's morning. Yeah, Craven decides to kick easy to awake. Oh wait, I didn't tell you how old he was now, did I? I think I Yeah, let's say six. Yeah, let's say six years old. As his training begins. Izuku being actually a quick learner. And him having a someone like Craven pretty much showing him the ropes of hunting. Yeah, he's gonna learn a lot more than watching someone on TV or just going to take a little class. Oh, do you have press for that nowadays? Eh, I don't think so. Craven, he's actually a pretty good teacher. Showing his school. Like, which animals would be like this? What are the patterns? What, how would they move like this? What happens if they're under stress? Going on and on about how this animal is different from this one. How their behaviors would react with this certain stimuli. What to expect. Which does get easy to more into analyzing as well as documenting what he finds and this is when he decides I want hunting myself what yeah are you sure it's it's only been a year since you truly started training there's still much to learn I know that but can't just keep letting you, you know, do all the dirty work. I need to get used to doing it myself, right? Hmm. That's, that's true, yes. But, are you certain you're able to? Watching me kill an animal and doing it yourself are two different things. Do you have the will to do it? To take another life? Izuku lovingly shakes his head yes. Craven looking hmm boy is tougher than I thought. Very well. As he points out, Izuku's prey, a lion. You want me to hunt that? Yes. Are you serious? I am. Can you do it? Yeah, I, 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 um, I, listen. If you can't do it, don't worry about it. We'll just continue trading until you uh, decide to grow some stones. Uh, what? If you're too scared to do it, I... It makes perfect sense, don't worry. Most kids would uh, be squeamish of having to tango with a lion. Is it a cool feeling? Uh, insulted, but uh, am I really going to take this bait? Yes, 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 I am. As he just grabs a spear, he's like, ah, uh -uh. that's my spear. You're going to make your own. But I do. I have to. Yes, he's too good. You have to make your own equipment. You can't just rely on someone else's. Ah. Uh, Fine. This is a good he makes a makeshift spear out of stone and stick. Craven impressed. Hmm. Let me see that weapon. Him pretty much testing it, trying to see how sharp it is. The point and everything is pretty well made. It took him a minute to really make it that good, but. Yes. Not bad. Better than a novice could ever do. 
the, now it's time for you to, to go catch your prey my boy don't die is it wait you, you're not gonna say your watch what and what you can eat no 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 I couldn't if anything <sighs> I may take a nap I'll f see if you uh survive the little test yeah that's great when he leaves Izuku he honestly just left me here huh he either has a lot of faith in me or he doesn't expect me to come back alive Izuku He's just throwing a little plan. He knows he can't out uh, overpower this lion. So maybe he can outsmart it. Lead into a trap to a point where he can actually deal with killing blow. His plan seems sound. Just make a little trail for it to run. Possibly a pitfall trap. Who knows? Maybe a snare. Something to keep it nice and you could say not moving. Keeping it good and still for Izuku to finish it off. Which it does start going as planned. Except Yeah, the cage he built isn't sturdy enough and the line breaks free to a point where it sees Izuku and starts running after him. Izuku being able to somewhat outpace it, but he notices it's slowly starting to catch up and he's starting to panic more. The closer it gets, the less he's thinking, he's more worried about getting away from it. To a point where he finds himself at the edge of a cliff. <laughs> Damn it, no! Survive too much, just die here. The lion is staring down at Izuku with hungry eyes as it even crouches down, ready to pounce on him. Izuku, not knowing what to do, but grab a firm hold of his spear and hope for the rest as the lion lunges at him and knocks them both off the cliff them plummeting down to the bottom. Look Craven shows back up saying hmm, let's see how the boy's done. Him following the trail, seeing that okay, so cage was not strong enough. Otherwise plan was quite sound. As he follows the tracks down to the cliff and see. Oh, okay. oh no. Him going down there, trying to see, okay, okay, is he alright? Is he alive? Uh, who won? Was it the lion? Was it the boy? I. All you can see is the lion in his body, but no Izuku. Did, where is he? He seems lying about some so wait, is it is that thing moving? Him he grabs his spear, ready to lunge at him and slide. As he sees it. Wait. That lion. Him looking getting prayer look as it's not the lion that's moving. It's Izuku. <laughs> he did it. Him feeling hello relief, Izuku's oh, oh that hurt. Uh, <clears throat> him just like cracking his bones like oh man that hurts. <sighs> Seriously, how did I survive that? As he turns his head as he's cradled like, what Master, what are you doing here? I, I 
I came to check on you. As uh, it looks like you, you won. Well, well done. Yeah, yeah. I guess I did, but I'm tired. Spent all that time getting that trap ready just for it to fail. Well, that's one thing you should always know, boy. Always expect and plan just in case the first plan fails. There's never a 100% guarantee that you have all of the variables. You didn't know how strong the line was. In the world of quirks, the animals had to adapt and evolve as well. So, it only makes sense that you then prepare for everything. Come. It's time for your reward. Bring the lion. There's Zuku. Him? Feeling triumphant. He feels good about himself right now. It's like, yeah, I did it. And whatever this reward is, that uh, I'm sure it's well, really worth it. And he gets back to the camp. He's, okay, so what's my reward? And this is when Craven hands him a short syringe. Just like, what's this stuff? The same chemicals within me that gives me my strength, my power that I use, that easily overtake any prey I see worth pursuing. I give you the same gift. However, you must know that this comes at the cost of potential risk, if nothing else. You may suffer a uh, few side effects. What side effects is that? Your head could uh, go crazy. Wait, what? You could lose your mind, if not die. There are other side effects, but I do not wish to disclose them yet. So, is it good? Knowing what few side effects you could uh, suffer, do you still wish to take the medicine? Simply looking at it, and with a stern look on his face, injects it within his neck. Craven, <laughs> well, look at that. Yes, uh, the boys finally gained his stones. I'm proud of you, Izuku. Thank you, Master. As he's, you know, he falls to his knees, clutching his stomach, then his head feeling a hell of a lot more pain than he really anticipated. Craven, like, huh. Ugh. Oh, well, that, uh, that, uh, sorry, fashion I first anticipated. I did not expect this. This is a goose. Why does this hurt so much? <laughs> Well, 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 you injected those chemicals straight to your neck, which gives them a, a lot easier time to get to your bloodstream, your heart, your brain, so it will affect you faster than it did me. So, all I can say is, buckle up. Zugu, he is writhing in agony for, let's say, 20 to 30 minutes. Cravens, uh, uh, let's see how long this takes. I hope it's not too long. I have some plans after this. He's like, hmm? Oh, the screaming stopped. Looking at his zip, oh, oh, that. Well, let's look at you, boy. Now you look good, you look strong. No one could call you weak. I'm impressed. To be honest, I think that you would die. What? 
Yes. Though, yes, you are strong, you still not as strong as me. <laughs> as is you and Craven, they pretty much uh, train for the next, let's say, until Izuku's 14. And this time, Izuku, he's like more confident in himself. But with Craven, yeah, he's, he's had to toughen up a lot. With his new power, he's. Yeah. I know I can be a hero now. But how much is it if this is really me? How much of this is. The, I'm starting to question whether if this is really his power or is it just a handout that he was just looking to be able to survive. Craven actually notices this sudden change in the. Uh, uh, seems like the boy is having doubts of himself. I wonder, what should I do to help him? Craven not knowing. Uh, hmm. Maybe. I uh, see what happens when he lets loose. As one day, Izuku notices that Craven is being somewhat cold towards him. He goes on for at least a week and until he's like, Okay, um, Craven? Mind telling me what's the issue? The issue? Yeah, you seem rather distant lately. Mm. Let's just say I'm having second thoughts. What? Yes, uh, for some reason, you've been, uh, lacking. What? What do you mean, lacking? It seems as though you are holding yourself back, that you haven't embraced my teachings. And that seems like you're insulting me. Or is it that you are not good enough to become skilled hunter, to become hero? Uh, wait, what? Don't let me repeat myself, boy. Perhaps I should have just left you there. Just bleeding out uh, up on a tree. Uh, even gave up that chemical just to give you a slight advantage. But you seem to be a bit too weak compared to how you should be by now. My calculations are never wrong, but uh, maybe it was wrong about you. Is it good hearing this? Wait, are you saying I'm starting to doubt your capabilities, boy? For some reason, I'm you're nowhere near as strong as you should be. Fuck your stuff. You, you should just go home to your father. Maybe this time we'll do a job tonight. As Kraven is walking away, Izuku, he yells at him saying to get back here and that he is strong. He's now a weakling. He's stronger than he really thinks. Craven with smug look. Prove it. Fight me. Uh, uh, what? You heard me. Fight me. I would like to see about this strength. You are uh, not weak. You must prove it to me. He's just good doing so. And though he is stronger and faster than Kanizuku, Craven has years of experience 
under his belt. So he is deliberately trying to get Izuku more mad, and it to the point where he's making more rash decisions. And each time he does, Craven starts adding up more and more of insults, poking fun at him, which only proves to make Izuku that much more mad. Until he body slams Izuku so hard it causes a crater. Many think that was still hard. As he just starts walking away, he notices. Wait, what is this? He feels something. Something dangerous. He turns his head slowly just to see Zuku. Just rising up from the crater. Well, yeah, definitely you look, boy. But, that doesn't mean. As he sees Izuku's eyes, when he opens them, yeah, the complete outside is black while his his eyes turn to a darker shade of green. But, this is when he's... What is this? Izuku has a smirk on his face. As well, as soon as he opens his mouth, Kramer can see sharp, jagged teeth. What the? Wait a minute. A chemical can't do that. I know I tried. Could this be? No. The boy you say didn't have a quirk. Azuki, he just vanishes from Kraven's sight. Kraven's But that's not. As he barely dodges Izuku's his wife. He's like, wait. Why did he. Him getting a closer look, seeing that Izuku has claws now. What the hell? That's not. Izuku. Snap out of it! As there's no response. All you can do is pretty much watch Izuku get more and more angry, feeling the urge to kill emanating from him. Young Midoriya. Uh, it's a joke, yes? As again, Izuku vanishes from his side. Craven being on high alert. He never, he never seen Izuku like this. He never. Oh, man. So, maybe Chemical did something extra to the boy. As he does remember something he read a long time ago. Oh, no. He is late bloomer. Isn't he? As he gets a huge ass surprise staring right back at him from the jungle. He sees Zuku's eyes as he starts running after him. I know I don't know how this boy is going to act around other animals, but I need to stop him before he ends up killing everything. He wants to kill. He wants to be the only creature left. As he's running through the whole jungle trying to find Zuku, he can't. All he can do really is hear the slight movements among the trees. And this is when he realizes something. Wait a minute. This area seems familiar. What? He's not trying to. As a trap springs. Him getting caught up in a snare as. 
that boy. He wasn't running away from me. He was luring me. He's... He's hunting... He's hunting me! As he sees Izuku, this time he has a tail. His skin is slightly changed color. His hair has gotten a bit longer. Izuku, what are you... Again, no response. As he sees Izuku's hand, the claws, he's just sliding them across the huge ass tree. <laughs> oh, we are going to enjoy this. We? As Izuku, with a big ass smile on his face, launches at Craven, him nearly being able to dodge and cut himself down. But. However, he didn't expect a pitfall trap that Izuku previously dug. He's like, damn it! This boy is using all his knowledge that he gained with me, plus his animalistic instinct. But why did he say we? Him trying to grasp the whole situation, not finding any answer that he would like. As time goes by and it's been two hours. Him still looking for Izuku. The boy was hunting me before but did he change his mind? No, no, no. He, he, he wouldn't. Maybe setting up another trap. As he hears a snap of a twig. What do you see? An emerald green lion and a big one. As you say, it makes the one that Craven killed it's like, and the Zulu killed look pretty much like cubs. Him seeing a towering lion right in front of him. It's a, he's a cub. As it lunges at him, and the sweet proceeds to swipe at his face any vital signs that Kramer actually left open, actually getting his face. Damn it, boy! Don't make me do this. Him actually getting one of his swords, as well as machete, dual wielding them. But so he swipes down Zuku, they shatter on impact. What? That's impossible. Him look for his nearest weapons cache. He finds it. And the only thing there is a crossbow. This is what I have to do. Him arming it. Especially when it comes to, you say, lacing it with. A highly potent paralytic, shooting it, and it may hit its target, but again, it's nothing. It's not doing anything. The arrow, as soon as it touches Izuku, shatters. At least breaks nothing. What, what the hell? How is this possible? Huh. I'm going to need something stronger. As Izuku, he is charging right up to Craven. Craven trying to think, okay, what? Wait, wait a minute. My, my laser spear. I'm trying to figure out where I put it, where. Ah, I remember. As he just runs right up to a waterfall. When he does get to it, he takes one last look before he's is able to ch charge completely at him and jumps. Suku is soon following after him. What the hell is this? Get crazy. That's all you see is anger in Suku's eyes. 
Earth. Damn it. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have pushed him so far. So they crashed down. Graven, he struggles to get out of the water. No, oh, his eye was being pretty much covered in blood from uh, actually running down his face. Him having no choice but to catarize, I think it's called. I think that's how you say it. Catarize the wound. But when Izuka gets out of there, damn it, I have no. As soon as he gets there, Okay, Zuko, I'll give you one last chance to come down and be transformed. Yes. Zuko, pretty much not listening whatsoever. Alright. I guess you leave me no other option. As, yes, he leaps. Being able to actually grab his laser spear and point it straight at Izuku. No. Boy. Like I said, one last chance. Stand down. As Izuku walks up to him. Yeah. Please. Don't make me do this. Again, not listening. Izuko. Please. Get a hold of yourself. As he starts charging. Craven. Have no choice but to fight back. 